I've got another kind of just fun example of how you can potentially use ray casting in a different way than just coming straight from the mouse. So I have set up a bit of a scene here um, and let's just walk through what I've got set up. So um, first I have this triangle object and it has a scan script on it. So if I open this up, basically what this script is doing is it is causing it to rotate um, back and forth and when it um, kind of gets all the way to one side, it switches direction. Um, the It has a um, shot location at the tip of its nose where it will be making shots from. We have two objects here, a square maker and a square destroyer. Um, the square maker is an empty game object with this make squares script on it. Mix squares is basically um, on a timer, it will create a random square prefab in a random location at the top of the screen. These square prefabs are nothing special. They are just a square that has a rigid body and a box collider on it. So they just fall from the top of the screen. Um, the square destroyer is just a game object with a box collider on it. And um, on the square itself, there's a script that says if I collide with something, um, destroy me. So this will rotate back and forth and random squares will fall from the top of the screen. So if we hit play, rotating back and forth and squares are falling and you'll notice that they are disappearing when they hit that, uh, um, this guy at the bottom of the screen. So the other thing that I've created is a shot prefab. This is a circle, um, with a, uh, circle collider on it and then this move shot script. We've seen something similar to this before, but basically, um, you know, if we, when we are created, we just move forwards and after a certain amount of time, we destroy ourselves. So the shot disappears after a short while. So what I wanna do is in this example, I'm going to set it up so that there is a ray being cast out from the front of the basically turret here, and if it uh, detects that there is a square falling in front of it, it will shoot out shots to destroy the squares automatically. So what I'm gonna do is I have this shot location that is on top of the, sh um, that has a shooting script on it. So I'm going to open this up. Now, um, one of the first things we note, this is going to be shooting out um, shots, so we wanna tell it about the shots. So let's fill in this variable here with our shot. And um, now one of the first things is like before we start trying to do all the ray casting and everything, we want to make sure that we are just drawing a ray in the right location. So this is something where we can use debug.drawRay. And um, basically this lets us draw like just this, a stand, like for example, if I were to make a ray with these settings, what would it look like? So you have to give it a position and a direction. So we're gonna give it our position because this script is on the shot location. So we'll give it our transform dot position. And then the direction is our upward direction. So transform dot up. And then um, because this transform dot up only gives us a like length of one. I'm just going to multiply this by, um, we'll, we'll say, um, look, distance to detect. And then we'll say that distance to detect equals maybe like eight or so. And we'll times this by distance to detect. So it'll draw a line that is the length of how far away we can actually detect that we're hitting stuff. And then we give it a color, um, color dot, let's say like green. Okay, so it's going to draw a line from here, this long, and in a green color. So if we hit play, you'll notice I have the scene view and the game view open because in the scene view we have this gizmos. This is a, a gizmo, so you have to have gizmos turned on. We can turn this on in our game view if we want. If we turn on, this is the gizmos button. So it's not turned on by default. So you can turn it on if you want, or you can just have kind of both windows open.
So it looks like our ray is working, so we'll be able to make little shots as long as the squares are within this sweeping distance. So now that we know that that is working, um, we will create our ray like we did in the last video. Ray ray equals new ray. And we'll give it a position, transform dot position. We'll give it a uh, direction, transform dot up. And then we will do our ray casting. So ray cast hit 2D hit equals physics 2D dot ray cast. And we give it the ray's origin, ray dot origin. We give it the ray's direction, ray dot direction. And we give it its distance. So in the last example with the um, clicking, we gave it an infinite distance, but we want to give this actually the distance to detect. And then um, let's say if hit dot collider is not nothing, um, then also, so it'll start shooting out little balls, but we want to check that it's actually detecting a square and not a um, not one of the shot objects, because when you shoot out a shot, the ray will hit the shot and then it'll keep shooting. So um, one thing that I did already was that on the squares, I tagged them as square. So we want to say, are we hitting something? And is it a square? So we will say, if we're hitting something and the hit uh, tag is square, then we will shoot a shot. So instantiate shot prefab. We'll put it at our transform.position and at our transform dot rotation so that it will go in the direction that we're pointing. So we have a little debug ray, we're creating the ray, shooting it out, and then if we hit something, if we hit a square, we will shoot. So that saves. Hit play. So not bad. It's not getting everything, but you know, it does a pretty good job. Okay, so this is just a, another example of how you can cast rays out from a specific point. It doesn't have to be just from the mouse, um, and you can do some kind of cool creative stuff with it.